the January 6th committee, interviewing one of its most crucial witnesses yet. That witness, the former Trump White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, testifying behind closed doors today. And it was a marathon, more than seven hours of testimony. The committee says Cipollone played a critical role in the final days of the Trump presidency and tried to stop a number of his plans for January 6th. The committee had to subpoena Cipollone to get him to testify. After some negotiations, he agreed to do a transcribed video recorded interview. A source telling NBC News that Cipollone has been a cooperative witness. CNBC senior congressional correspondent Elon Moy joining us now. Elon. Well, Scott Cipollone was not only at the center of the action on January 6th, but according to other witnesses, he was one of the few people sounding the alarm inside the White House. Remember, the committee subpoenaed him after that bombshell testimony from former White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson, who said he urged her to make sure that Trump stayed far away from the Capitol that day. Mr. Cipollone said something to the effect of, please make sure we don't go up to the Capitol, Cassidy. Keep in touch with me. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if we make that movement happen. Hutchinson also named half a dozen Republicans who sought preemptive pardons. And another infamous White House lawyer, John Dean, who worked for President Nixon, said Cipollone could corroborate that information. He tweeted, that should be among the top questions from the committee. That is not privileged information. But on his social media platform, Trump blasted Cipollone's cooperation as a violation of trust. He wrote, why would a future president want to have candid and important conversations with his White House counsel if he thought there was even a small chance that this person may someday be brought before a partisan and openly hostile committee in Congress? Still, The Washington Post reported tonight that Trump is considering waiving claims of executive privilege for former adviser Steve Bannon, a move that could allow him to testify before the committee as well. Now, the next public hearing is scheduled for Tuesday, so Scott, we could find out what Cipollone knows in just a few days. And Elon, the founder of the Oath Keepers, wants to speak to the committee, we understand? Yes, yeah, Scott, there are strings attached to his testimony because he is worried that the committee will chop up his statement. Rhodes attorneys told NBC that he'll only do this testimony live in person if his lawyers are present and he'll only talk about the Oath Keepers, not his family or his personal life. Now, Rhodes is currently in jail while awaiting trial on seditious conspiracy charges. He did testify virtually before the committee in February and invoked the Fifth Amendment 20 to 30 times. Scott, no response yet from the committee on whether it'll agree to his terms.